college met today. And now, I guess, the entire rush to judgment is over. The liberals have absolutely lost. The Electoral College has been secured. And Trump is definitely the next president. So the only thing remaining left is his inauguration. And naturally, if you were to watch MSNBC or CNN, you know what they're talking about. They're still talking about Russian hacking. Now, guess what? All these wild accusations about Russian hacking, and none of these people have ever stopped to explain just how did the Russians manage to hack a bunch of computers that aren't connected to the internet. Here's a question. How did the Russians hack all of the quote-unquote angry white voters and quote-unquote angry black and Hispanic voters that actually did go down to the voting booths and vote for Trump? How did the Russians do that? Now, if you ask them that question, what will they say? Well, the Russians planted fake news. Yeah, they planted fake news. Fake news, man. The Russians were running fake news stories. And those fake news stories made people think that, uh, uh, that, you know, Hillary was a bad candidate. No, 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 no. Nobody made people think Hillary was a bad candidate. Hillary was a terrible candidate, and people thought she was a terrible candidate. What really pissed them off, what really pissed them off, was when she and Debbie Wasserman Schultz acted as if they were in cahoots to take the election from Bernie Sanders. The reality of the situation is that communist never could have won a national election. The problem is you can't tell Generation Y and Generation Z anything because they all think they know everything. And as far as they're concerned, anybody who's promising them more welfare checks is getting their vote. So apparently it's all done. They're still talking about Russian hacking. What is this? Russians were trying to elect a lapdog. This is what they're talking about. They said Podesta said that Russians were trying to elect a lapdog. This is this is the best they've got. And they're busy blaming quote unquote fake news when all they're delivering is conjecture, lies, and bullshit. Rumor, conjecture, lies, and bullshit. Because I'm still waiting for these I'm still waiting for somebody to stand up and say, "Well, excuse me, how did the Russians hack the election? How did they hack the computers?" See, they can't explain that because the simple fact is the computers aren't connected to the internet. That's the reason why they actually have to wait until all of the results come in. Then the computers are not connected to the internet. And you can't hack the election simply because there's no central server to hack it from. I didn't see any Russians sneaking through my neighborhood hacking machine. I didn't see that when I walked down there to vote for Donald Trump. So you know what? Listen, the electoral college process is done. And that's it. And now you got Michelle crying, oh, we lost the hope. There's no hope left. There's no hope. Yeah, well, well, I'll tell you what. If anybody should be talking about no hope, they should be talking about CNN and MSNBC because these guys are done. Uh, Xbox, watch CNN. These guys are absolutely done because I'll tell you what. If Trump is half as hateful towards these people as I am, he's going to cut out all of their insider status. He's not going to even... Man, I'll tell you, if I was Trump, I wouldn't even let them on the plane. It'd be like, yeah, guess what, guys? Only my news stations are getting on my plane. You're not getting on. And they'd be like, oh, but what about freedom of press? What about freedom of press? And they're like, well, all you got to do is apply for your press passes. And as soon as they give me the press pass applications, I'd take those shits and I'd freaking shred them. Shred them in my shredder. So they, these people better hope that Trump isn't the person that I voted for. Because if he's half the person I voted for, they're in serious trouble. Because the first thing I do, as soon as my hand comes off that Bible, I'm not even going to sleep that night. All of my political enemies, I turn right around and I go after them. And these people, oh yeah, Trump needs to divest his interest. He needs to, he needs to sell all his stock. He needs to divest his company. First of all, the one thing I appreciate about him more than anything is that unless it's absolutely legally necessary, he's not doing it. Showing his tax return, I ain't showing you a goddamn thing. You ain't seeing my tax returns. You ain't seeing nothing. Because I don't legally have to show you my tax return. There's no law that says I have to show you my documents. As long as the IRS is happy with my taxes, that's all that matters. You don't. And then they, oh, yeah, well, you got to divest your companies, man. We ain't never seen no president who had that kind of money. You got to divest your properties, man. You got to divest your corporate interests. No, I don't.
and I would tell them just like that. And MSNBC and CNN, I'm, you know, these guys are lucky. They ain't sleeping well tonight. You could tell they ain't sleeping well tonight. I'm waiting for that inauguration. I'm so waiting for that inauguration. Xbox, watch Fox News. Xbox, watch Fox News. I am so waiting for that inauguration. Because I'll tell you one thing, man. When we get to that inauguration, I'm, I'm going to buy stock in Kleenex. And I'm going to buy stock in EVN Spring where their water bottles so I can collect the tears from all these liberals who are going to be crying their eyes out. And, and that's just it. You know what? It's over. You lost. Get over it. And stop blocking traffic before you another one of you get hit by cars. Because I tell you, when I see these people try to block traffic, they get hit by cars. I think that shit is hilarious. It's like, you should not be trying to block traffic. What if there's somebody on an ambulance they're trying to get through and you're blocking traffic, trying to protest something that you have no power over? Just stop. You've embarrassed yourselves. Just stop hey, it. Hey, President Trump, these are our press passes. Uh, can we get on the plane now? Yeah, sure. Let me have a good look at those. Oh, no, I guess you can't.